Hello everyone and welcome to Boneworks Mod Review Part 2. Today we're re reviewing other free mods, starting off, quite obviously, in the beautiful Warriors Goldmine custom map. Now this place, I think, is ripped straight from Mario Kart 8, so, you know, looks amazing. All the collision is all working properly. And what's even interesting is that everything isn't just flat ground. Here, as you can see... The holes in the track are actually holes in the track, which you can fall through, which can be annoying sometimes. But that's okay. Obviously, this place looks beautiful. This entire place is collision. All down there, you can do stuff. I don't know I'd want to. It's quite not as good as up here, down there. But yeah, if you've got the web sling, especially, you can, you know, web sling around the mine, which is super cool. So I think first things first, let's have a little tour of this place. And then I'll show you my other two mods, which today are going to be NPCs. So let's get ourselves a Nimbus gun. So we got the fit, we got the start, and then we have this. This is one of my favorite parts because of how much of a steep bank it is. You can spawn a nobody up here and push him down, and they'll go wee. Then we got, you know, the usual. If you're a, if you're a fan of Mario Kart, you'll know this quite, probably quite well. Into the mine, we've got. Obviously, a few things don't look as good as they would in-game, but that's alright. What's interesting is this pad's here, and it's lit up. And you carry on. Obviously, there's no anti-gravity in this, but in Mario Kart there is, so you, it is kind of hard to, you know, be on stuff like this part. But there you go, you can get over here, you can go for the old level. There is some minecarts that move down here too, but there isn't any of the actual minecarts like, on the level, which move like along this track. That's okay. Yeah, these little moving minecarts. We'll go have a quick look. There it is. I don't know if you can interact with them. I, yeah, you can't sadly, but that's okay. It's a nice little add-on. Carry on, you know, the level. There's the secret way, which works. You can go through like this. You can see that part, which is awesome. Oh, I never noticed this. That's cool. It's a little bit here. Wait, how far does this go down? Very, okay. And then, yeah, you continue, and that's it for the map, really. It goes pretty far on, too. You can go all the way back there, but obviously, stuff doesn't have as much collision and stuff back here. But it's crazy just how much detail Nintendo put in, and whoever decided to import this into the game, they probably would have came on screen by now. Uh, well done, because this is, like, a solid map. It's so great to explore and stuff, and, like, just mess around with. It's even got moving carts and stuff. They went the extra mile with this, really. All right, and our second mod will bring us the Mark Zuckerberg NPC. Here he is. Now this one's obviously quite a meme mod. Here he is. He has the AI of Ford, so obviously he won't be aggressive until you hurt him. And yeah, he's, he's a bit messed up, but that's okay because he's like a meme guy. He's a meme uh, enemy. His arms especially are very like spaghetti-like and scary. There you go, you can see him there. Okay, let's take him out this ditch. Yeah, see, like, he just slapped me there. If we fight him back, he should start attacking. There we go. His arms look super weird when he attacks. His elbows are, like, all messed up. But, yeah, goodbye, Zuckerberg. There you go. And, yeah, this map goes quite far down. It's quite scary. As you'll see, he'll kind of just disappear into the void. But yeah, just, this one is a very simple mod. There's not much to it, but, you know, if you want to beat up Mark Zuckerberg for changing the Oculus to meta, then you can. He's very, like, ugly, I'll tell you that. So, yeah, you know, that's something about him. And he's just got, like, default human clothes on. That's what he decides to wear, because he's, like, a robot or something. And our next one is one of my favourite NPCs to mess around with, and that is El Goblino. So, he's basically kind of just a reskin. Where he does have different traits, but they don't change him too much. It's just a regular nobody, except he's super small, he's super fast, he has a high pitched voice. And yeah, there he is, El Goblino. I think he attacks faster too. And because he's so small, it's just really fun to, you know, like, smash him around and throw him in lockers or something. Obviously, there he goes. Down with Zuckerberg. So, this NPC is a lot of fun to mess around with, because, you know, like I, like I mentioned before, his size. You can just kind of throw him around, if we grab him by the legs here. We could do some Mario 64 stuff. So long, Gabe Bowser! Wee! 
Oh, he's dead. So yeah, you can kind of just do whatever with him. He has basically the same health as a nobody, I think. Although, because of his hitbox change in his size, it makes him really hard to kill sometimes. So you could be like... He's really good at surviving being bashed around. So like, I could just throw him around loads and he just wouldn't die. Like, you could throw him... For an example, I could probably throw him off here and he could survive unless he hits something weird. Which he might do if he's spinning like that. Goodbye, I'll go, you know. Oh wait, no, that one survived. Do you see him moving? Yeah, see, look, they're very resistant sometimes, and I don't know why. Yeah, they can survive a lot sometimes, which is interesting. Also, it helps, to be honest, because it allows you to, you know, bash and run a bit more. Which is great, because that is very fun to do with El Goblino. Do you think I can get an El Goblino into that pipe? I don't think I'd be able to do it without extra mods, but I'll try. Oh, no chance. Okay. I'd have to get a bit of height to do that. Oh no! Ah! Oh, El Goblino! Oh! See, look, he survives. He's a very strong little man. And it's very hard to kill him sometimes. His neck's also a bit like that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I see where I can explain that. But yeah. Great mod. Mark Zuckerberg mod. Pretty good mod. Very simple NPC, but very nice to, you know, beat him up. Wario's Goldmine. A beautiful map. If you want to, you know, uh, go on a Mario Kart map, here you go is one. I don't think there is any more Mario Kart maps, and to whoever made this, I would love to see you make more, because this one is great, and there's a lot of good Mario Kart tracks out there. God, sorry. There's a lot of good Mario Kart tracks out there that I'd love to see in this game, like, I can't think there's that many. Maybe Cheese Lamb would be cool. Just any tracks, really. They'd be great to see in Boneworks. And for Bone Lab, which is this year in the future, um, it would be great to see more Mario Kart maps, because they're adding go-karts and stuff officially for bone lab i know there's probably car mods and stuff in boneworks already which we might check out in a future mod video but it would it would be great to you know see more it's like anywhere but yeah this one one of my favorites i think it's the only one so i guess it is my favorite but yeah if the mod developer somehow sees this i would love to see you make more and i would definitely play them so i think that's kind of it for hope you guys enjoyed it we've got two npcs and one map quite interesting i am a big fan of el goblino he just killed me but yeah if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button um yeah and like the video